Hey, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki Jones. And if you're new to my channel today, welcome. And if you're not and you're returning, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your shares, your likes. And I really appreciate you. <laughs> Without you, there would be no point in doing this. So today I want to talk a bit about actually something that's been going on in my life. Um, I've, uh, I've been having many many tests done. Um, I had started off with carpal tunnel from doing cleaning and I just thought I'd overdone my wrists from you know eight eight hours of cleaning a day, people's houses. So anyway, I went on to have steroid injections into my wrists and that gave me a little bit of relief for about a week. But then after that all of a sudden I started getting these spasms. Oh my god, they were horrific. It was horrific. It was really vibrant and it was right in my bicep tricep area. And it was like. <laughs> so, I, um, I was getting this, um, these spasms, and I went to A&E. They gave me diazepam to calm down the spasms, it's like a muscle relaxant, and that f was for a week, and that seemed to help for some time, that actually helped. Um, after that, I started getting sensations in my legs, um, like as if something was crawling up my legs, like the lower part of my legs, but then I was also getting this like sluggish feeling through my veins. I've been back and forward having lots and lots of tests, I've had a um, nerve conduction test, which is where they put like uh, acupuncture needles right into your muscle and then they send an electric current down to your um, nerves and it's like a zzz kind of feeling. Um, and I had that done and I had, I've had about three or four MRI scans. Um, I remember going back to see the consultant and he said to me right at the beginning, when I had had the steroid injections, that I've noticed a thickening in your cervical um, spine, so we need to keep a check on it. But it went over my head, completely went over my head. I didn't even acknowledge that he'd said that until like later. Um, so I had uh, loads of those tests and I had another another scan done and I kind of put myself into this meditated state I decided I did I, I'm very claustrophobic I didn't like it it was very noisy and I literally I don't know how I done it but I kind of switched myself off it's like as if I fell asleep and then all of a sudden I woke up and I was aware of where I was and I just thought been in here ages and that's all I could think and then when I got out the woman said I had to go and get a radiologist to have a look at it so that worried me even more anyway the results came back quite quickly two days later he was phoning me this was on the Sunday I had it done and the clinic day was the Tuesday he rung me on the Tuesday saying um, are you able to swallow are you able to do this are you able to do that you need to have surgery I said what's the worst outcome he said a fusion so when I received my letter stating about this, it actually suggests in there that I have a fusion. So um, they're going through the front anterior, and they're going to take um, a bulging disc out of my out of my neck. Um, this is due to um, wear and tear. I'm actually only 51, nearly 52, and uh, the apparently this condition is um, disabling so it can give you paralysis or death and I know that sounds really dramatic but that's what they that's what I know so um, so I was diagnosed with spondylosis cervical myelopathy so that means I've got bone spares on my on my vertebrae and they need to go in there and they need to chip them off, take out the disc and fuse the bones together. So yeah, I am really worried. I am really nervous. 
Um, I've worked for the NHS for 15 years myself, and I've seen people through go go through, you know, many many things. But when you're on the other end of it, it's a totally different feeling. It really is. Um, at the moment, I have. I feel like my body's vibrating, shaking. Um, I'm beginning to stumble, lose my balance, my coordination's going, my, the bit at the back of your heel is giving me so much grief. Um, yeah, so it's quite worrying, it's quite scary, but I'm very positive, even though I'm very negative, I'm very positive at the same time. So, um, I did this bit, I've done this video really to reach out to others that may be having the same sort of thing. Uh, I get neck pain with it. I get very sore, like across here, like going up into my neck and here. So it's really tight, it feels really tight actually. Um, quite upset by it really. I was about to start exercising. I spoke to the consultant, said, um, you know, can I exercise? And he was like, mm, no, probably not a good idea. Um, because I suppose if I slipped or something, that's the thing. Um, if the root, the nerves are out already, already being compressed, then um, to have an accident could cause, could cause paralysis. So anyway, I'd love to hear from anybody out there that's suffering this, suffering with this, or has had this surgery. Um, my mum had it, but she had it in the lumbar. Now, I, when he, when I got my results, it did say that L2, there was something going on there as well. Now, a friend of mine said to me, that's a completely different surgeon. So does that mean I've got to have two operations? I don't know. But um, I'm hoping that this is going to be done quite quickly. He did say it should get done quite quickly, and it's down as urgent. Um, mine is very severe, so uh, I've I've noticed difference in me weekly, which is just quite scary, you know. Like even sometimes my legs don't work right, and I feel like I'm not able to feel the bottom of my legs properly. Sometimes it's a very weird f sensation. Um, on a good note, I am still uh, able to go um, go out a bit, but I'm very weary now because obviously of my clumsiness. It comes and goes. It does come and go. And I know I'm blunt, but it's not the point, is it? <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to touch grounds with you guys, uh, especially my subscribers, because I've been a little bit quiet recently. I haven't been putting out as many videos as I'd like to. Um, I have done, this is my fourth attempt of doing this video. Uh, I did one going out today and yeah, okay, it's beautiful outside, but mm, I just don't know, I just didn't feel right doing the video. It's quite a raw video, it's quite, um, I'm sort of just starting to sort of come to terms with it a little bit. I'm doing more and more research, which they advised. They gave me a website, um, but it doesn't give you an awful lot. So I've had to rely on YouTube, really. And sometimes <laughs> it's not the best thing to look at, but but I understand it a bit more. And he said to me if I um, if he needs to take bone spurs, uh, but if you need to take extra um, bone from me, we'll take it from my hip, which will make me stay in hospital a little bit longer. Um, and then I'd have titanium in as well. So I'd have titanium in here. So fingers crossed, we don't go to that stage. Um, I won't know until I wake up. <laughs> I'm planning to film it. I'm planning to film it all I mean I have massive cracking in the sound in my neck when I move my neck about it's horrible absolutely awful so um, I've been taking uh, for pain relief I've been taking gabapentin which is a nerve 
um, and an also an uh, anti-seizure medication but it has helped it didn't work at first and it took time because you have to build them up because it can give you a really bad headache they give me a really dry mouth it made me keep wiping the sides of my mouth constantly because I was constantly nervous that I was getting like something beside my mouth um, though after I got through those uh, once I got through that, then it's been fine, it's been fine, it's been... I know I need my tablets when I need my tablets, and I'm getting to need them more and more. So, um, that's where I'm at. I've managed to cut down my mood stabiliser, because I felt that it was making me go back to sleep spiritually. Um, I was on 150 milligrams of quetiapine and I was very wide awake and they put me on these and wow, 150 milligrams, I couldn't tell you anything, I really couldn't and I'm now, I've halved it, I've literally broke it in half so I'm on 85 milligrams so I'm so pleased that I've cut it down and I feel so much more like myself. So I hope you see a difference. I hope you get something, some benefit from this video. Um, or if you like my video, I really appreciate that little thumb up. Click it. Give me a, a comment down below. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Love, light and peace to you.